Okay, so now we're going to talk to Little Sims because you are one of the new faces and I know that you can't really say that much, which is a bit sad, <laughs> about your character. Um, but can you give us an overall flavour of who she is and what she's about? Yeah, so I play um, Shelley and she is essentially, can I say the love interest? Of... You just did. <laughs> uh... Didn't say of who. <laughs> A potential, <laughs> um, but Shelley's. I guess she adds um, a new. I guess she gives a, p a particular character a new found hope. Um, allows character to dream and visualize, and a lot of the characters in the show are very like tunnel vision and stuck in one way of doing things. I think life is about that. And I think Shelley introduces like a new way of, you know, uh, I don't know, dreaming. And uh, that's essentially what her, her character represents. And Michael, for you, can I say <coughs> family about your character? Yeah, I guess you can. You can say a lot of things about Jamie mm -hmm. because Jamie is obviously out here in these streets trying to make stuff happen. And also he's got his brothers at home who he has to be father, mother and older brother too and it's obviously showing how he has to provide for them and the journey and the struggles he has to go through, as well as relationships that he creates throughout the show with like, a lot of the other characters. So yeah, Jamie's a very, very interesting character. Because with this new home, we get to explore a different side of people within the show. I feel like that's because it's a, a lot longer. Yeah. So you can sit mm. with their lives. So. That's, that it creates that element where you can follow Jamie through all of these things because it's 10 episodes, whereas four, you wouldn't be able to see certain sides to him that you do now. And obviously, that is real life. People in the other ones, you didn't really get to see that much. And obviously, yeah, what I have to say. So Top Boy is a fantastic program, but are you guys ever concerned that it may be uh, reinforcing stereotypes of the black community? No. no. Because I feel like it is real life and we're not justifying or glorifying anything. We're just literally putting, shining a light on what is out there. And if you don't know about these things, then how can you help change it? Mm -hmm. Well said. <laughs> Fantastic. So, um, in today's current climate, what do you think that Top Boy represents? <laughs> well, Top Boy can represent. <laughs> well, for me and my character, what I learned through Jamie is that no matter what, everyone is really trying to be at the top. And if you're not, then what are you really doing? Like, <laughs> like if you're not trying to be at the top of your game, then what are you actually really doing? And Jamie opened it up for me. So that is basically what it is. Ambition. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, nah, I, I feel, yeah, Top Boy represents, you know, ambition on screen and off screen as well because, um, you know, I think it gives a lot of opportunity to, to uh, you know, actors, current actors and new actors and, yeah, represents truth and represents a, a, a community that, um, you know, yeah. isn't, isn't always heard, you know. Yeah. Yeah, Top I mean, Boy represents a lot, man. But I mean, for me, sorry, uh, for me, you know, writers, uh, you know, writers don't just write. You know, you 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 watch, you listen, you hear things, uh, you learn things. You're in, you live in a community. You look at that community, and you see, you know, there's difficult, there's great stuff, fantastic stuff, but there's also difficult stuff too. And um, you know, I. I I've said this before, but London is so cheek by jowl. You know, you, you, you can have a really nice street and you turn the corner and you're somewhere that is deprived. I mean, it is clearly run down. It is impoverished. And, uh, and those two worlds are living right side by side with each other. And that was what first, you know, got my attention was seeing uh, in a supermarket, uh, you know, a couple of hundred meters from my house one day, just seeing a kid... I, I, 10, 12, whatever, selling drugs. 
And um, it, was, it was a school day and all the other kids were going to school and so on. And he wasn't there, he was serving. And uh, uh, people would come up, money would change hands, he'd drop something on the ground, go off again. There, uh, sometimes a bicycle would come, you know, all, so you're, what you're watching on your doorstep is a kid who needs help. I mean, that kid needs help. And then you kind of look into it a bit more and then you go, wait a minute, this isn't just about one kid, this is about a community. And why is that? And the kind of question that Top Boy asks, but you know, I never, listen, I'm an intensely political person, but you, it, this is drama, this is entertainment. You have to do it within a story. It has to be, you know, it has to grab people. You can't deliver lectures. Um, but the more I kind of asked around and, and talked to these kids, you just saw how widespread it was. And actually, this is a community that's in trouble. It's a community that uh, is overlooked. You have to ask, why are people doing this? And Top Boy does that. You know, it's about, we see it in Jamie's case. Uh, we see the, 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 the character played by Michael. We see it in, in the other cases too. Some of it is just ambition and it is crime. Others, it is, what else have we got? You know, we are shut out. Uh, we, you know, we are despised. Uh, you know, people, you know, this, we are excluded, so we're going to make our own way in the world, and they do it. And the value system with which they do that is messed up badly. But you can't blame them for having a value system. You can't blame people who have been locked out of a, out of a world you know, that, you know, that the, most of us have access to on one level. You can't blame them for then saying, okay, you're locking me out. I'm going to make my own world, and my own world will have its own rules, and I'm going to do this and, and basically fuck you. So for me, you know, it's Top Boy, I, I, you know, I, I would absolutely say it is, there's no way that it is glamorizing or stereotyping or any of that, but it is taking you into the heart of a world and it's saying to you, here it is, and if you look carefully and you listen, you'll see, you'll understand why. This is how. Yeah. Mm. Fantastic. And on that note, I guess we'll have our final clip so you guys can see the new series of Top Boy. <laughs> uh, we've had some questions in from the crowd um, that we want to throw out, and then we might get to another clip if. if we can. Um, one question that I think people want to know is how involved is Drake? Is Drake <laughs> going to appear on the streets of the Summer House Estate? Look, <laughs> <laughs> there's one part we walk, it's not me, he's, we walk across the road one day, he's busking, rapping, we throw some change in his hat <laughs> and then keep it moving. <laughs> That's his only involvement. That, <coughs> that's it. <laughs> no, but for real, because people are going to believe that. That's not going to I guess, I don't know, Jay, I guess Jake's an executive producer, so maybe it's a question more for the execs, but just on my part, I know, obviously we met Drake at the beginning um, when we, was discussion or when the Netflix deal came about, you know, me and Ashley and him, we sat down and spoke and, and he was just like, look, and by the way, Drake's not silly. Like he's aware of the talk, you know what I mean? That kind of, you know, stuff going on, culture work, jumping on the hype and all this, whatever. He's like, look, I'm a fan of the show. I just wanted to, you know, see if there was any way I could help to bring this back, you know? And that's why I'm in the room. But you guys need to create the show just the way you did, the same reason, you know, that I ended up loving it. And I guess if, you know, we need him, he's there, you know, in terms of the show's finished, maybe some promotional kind of things and, and whatnot. But yeah, influential in acquiring the Netflix deal, as I hear. And, and, and that's about it. It's not on a day-to-day -day level like Drake's on set trying to <laughs> tell us how to say and whatnot. You know what I mean? He's just, um, he's just supporting us, I guess, from, you know, behind for, for the me. scenes. Yeah. And yeah, it's just 
yeah, it's just a good energy. He came to the read through. Yeah, for me, when he came to Everyone the read through, excited to see. You know it, what I mean? It made it. It made it like real for for me to be able to see someone of that like caliber there, mm. and yeah, with along with everyone else, it just secured it down. For yeah, me. Made dropping it for the real. dropping the trailer, just helping yeah. it get to to you know more people than we than we reached before. Yeah, you know. So yeah, he's there uh, there as a real support.